<laughs> this is ridiculous. What's going on guys? Back with another vlog, back with another video. Thank you for tuning back in. If you have not yet subscribed, make sure you do so. Browse the channel, hit the like button. But anyway, um, I'm waiting for one of my friends to come through. We have a really cool video going on today uh, for you guys. I have this hood here. That hood there and didn't want to just throw it away and didn't want to just uh, trash it. So what we're going to do is we're going to shoot it all up. We got a Desert Eagle, a uh, 50 round Desert Eagle or 50 cal Desert Eagle that we're going to shoot at it. And uh, a few other guns, Glock, uh, Springfield, uh, AR, 300 Blackout. Um, it's going to be fun. I can't wait to see the type of holes that uh, that Desert Eagle puts through that. But uh, yeah, let me get everything ready and I'll uh, catch you guys here in a bit. Look at that, look at that face. He's just doing this. This ain't four by four, but we in here. Alright guys, check this out. Boom, Desert Eagle. This thing is huge. Probably can't get perspective on camera, but believe me, it's big. Check out these rounds. Let's compare it to a 9mm. Alright y'all, look at that. 50 cal round, 9mm round. You can do some damage. I want to see the recoil on one of y'all before I shoot this. Come on, cowboy. You tell bro, me you're scared of shoot that? It's in my hand. Bro, but you know what it is? It has so much weight that it's not as bad as it is. Hey, explain it to him, bro. Hey, um, My boy here knows what he's talking about. Bro, it's a lot of weight. <laughs> I'm not shooting that. Yeah. Let's it's get locked and loaded. Look at the distance from my XB to the Desert Eagle. I thought my eyes felt big. All right, y'all. Just uh, for perspective, no holes, no bullet holes on it yet. I'm excited to see that that 50 cal does. Let's get it locked and loaded. And we got all this out here to shoot as well. Got a brick. I want to shoot that with my 300 blackout. But uh, yeah, let's get everything locked and loaded. All right, y'all, we're going to get this going. Uh, I got the Desert Eagle here. Ear protection somewhat in, but uh, let's go. This is ridiculous. All right, please. That gun is serious. Like, you have to respect that thing. The recoil on it is ridiculous. I mean, a, a whole other level of uh, recoil. The way it feels, it's insane. Come on, Jeff. I'm so 
Oh, you can't leave here without shooting it. Oh, one round. Oh, just one round. Just one round. <laughs> just one round. No peer pressure, but one round. I'm straight, dog. That's exactly how you turn people into alcoholics. <laughs> one shot. Just one, just shot, one shot, bro. bro. That's it. Take just a one. hit, bro. You're, you're not going to get addicted to that, though. I'm going to hit it. I mean, you might, but. Sure. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. You good? You clear? Yeah, but I think you got jammed, to be honest. All right. Just put it on safe. Yeah, no, it's not safe. Okay. going on guys it is the next day um but check out this hood man like i really want to get you guys to look at this hood up close look at the damage that that 50 caliber did that's a big big hole just in comparison that's a 50 cal and then that's the i think that's a 300 blackout to be honest with you and then these over here are more so nine millimeter holes but Look at the size of that 50 caliber. And then check out that exit. Peep, that right here is a 50 cal hole. Look at the size of that. That's about the size of a quarter. Just to compare. I know it's hard to tell on camera, but that's how big that round is. Insane. But we will go in depth on uh, yesterday's little shooting experience that we had later on. Um, I'm actually on my way to the uh, Chevrolet dealership here in my town. A um, friend of mine went yesterday. They gave him a really, really good trade-in value on his uh, car that he has. Um, he's looking at a ZL1, 2018 ZL1. But um, I want to see what they offer me on trade-in on my car just because it's interesting for one. Um, and who knows? Who knows what might happen? But uh, kind of just window shopping today see what they offer um, if I did leave Ford and went to Chevy um, I would only do it uh, if I went to a Corvette I wouldn't get a Camaro or anything like that or a ZL1 even though they're I respect both of them the ZL1 is a beast of a car uh, but I would prefer the uh, Corvette over any of the two but anyway we are almost there I honestly don't think they will allow me to record if I record it's gonna be off of my phone they let my boy test drive the ZL1 yesterday, which is crazy. They have a ZL6 there that I was looking at yesterday on their website. I'm really hoping they'll let me test drive that, but we shall see. We shall see what happens. My biggest uh, accomplishment that I want to leave there with is a uh, good trade-in value for my Mustang on paper. But anyway, we will see. Uh, I'm almost there. I'll catch you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, so I don't know how we pulled this one off, but we're in a 2018 Z06, and they literally let me and my boy here just go on a test drive. You don't see that very often at all, but uh, we're gonna wait till we get a back road here, and we'll, we'll give it the sauce. All right, guys, so we're gonna, we're gonna do this. Keep in mind, my car has 430 horsepower, it has 650, so definitely one of the fastest cars I've ever driven, but uh, let's go. That literally spun in third gear on an automatic transmission. That's insane. I love my Mustang. <laughs> But dang, this is crazy. This is a whole other level of fast. All right, guys. So taking it back to the dealership now. Um, I did get a quote on a trade-in value for my car. I'll show you guys that. I do have a printout for it. Um, this car's a beast, though. We hit like 133 was the speed on a on a test drive. Um, honestly, I got too excited. I forgot to record that part. But it's all good um, back here at the dealership and I'll catch you guys in a bit 
Hey, what's going on guys? It's been a couple days uh, since that last footage you saw, but I wanted to fill you guys in on what um, went on, what happened with the uh, Corvette uh, that I wanted to take a look at and the appraisal that I got on my car. So, they actually gave me a pretty good appraisal. Um, let me give you a rundown. At first, they offered me 18000 which was super low. I definitely wouldn't take that. Um, but that was for a base model. They came back and asked me um, some features my car had, etc., etc. And I told them I had the premium model 400A package on my car. So they came back with another offer of 24500 And I'll show you guys here. So there you see that $24,500 offer um, for my 2016 Mustang GT. That's the black book value, or the black book value, I guess, is at $24,275. But they're offering me $24,500, which is actually not a bad um, offer coming from a new car dealership. Um, I really thought it was going to be a lot less. Kind of surprised with that $24,500 offer, but. Um, I drove that 2017 Corvette Z06 and that thing was a beast. Um, my car has 435 horsepower which is no slouch but when you compare 435 to 650 that's a big difference. It's 650 horsepower, 650 torque on that 20, uh, 27, no, actually 2018. Um, so 650 horsepower, 650 torque on the 2018 Z06. Insane. I was actually supposed to go today and drive a 2017 um, Z06 that's in manual. The one I drove was auto. Uh, this one's manual. But as you guys can see, uh, the weather here in Florida today is no good. Um, so I don't want to take something that much horsepower out for a test drive. Uh, maybe tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. It's still going to be a gloomy day, but it's not supposed to be rainy. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, but. I am considering it. I have to make a few things happen before I can commit to such a big purchase. Um, my buddy is really looking into getting that ZL1. Um, it's a red ZL1. Um, I don't think I got any footage of it, but it's a 2018 ZL1 manual transmission. Um, they had a red one, they sold it, but he's looking to get a blue one. So stick around. I'm actually going to link his channel below. Um, if he gets that, it's going to be some great content that you guys will be able to see. Hopefully I can get uh, the Z06 and he get that ZL1, that'll be awesome. Um, but again guys, a lot has to fall in line for me to get that Z06, we will see. I will miss the Mustang. Uh, the Mustang definitely does not perform like that Z06, but the Mustang is my baby right now. But we'll see what happens. Uh, the white Z06 that I'm supposed to drive, you know what, I'm not going to give anything away on it because it's a beauty. Um, That'll be in tomorrow's vlog, or I'll be vlogging that tomorrow. Uh, the video will be up later this week. Um, but anyway, I wanted to fill you guys in um, on what's going on. But I hope you guys have a good rest of the week. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Don't forget, be great.